Good evening, good evening. Fly Sweeney here, just a quick one. We're gonna do a mini review this evening. Um, we haven't, uh, just, uh, we've done a, a good few there, but we haven't done one for a while because of, not COVID, but because the weather's been crap. And it actually, it's spring here now, but it's a bit stormy. Now, just a quick one. In 1843, a German, Hermann Dietrich, Upman came to um, Cuba um, to work with the, some, um, the banks and you know trade and tax and blah 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 and some other things like that. But he was a banker, and he was actually the first guy. But you don't know this. Well, you might know this. He was the first person who thought of the idea of putting cigars into boxes, uh, cedar boxes, um, because he um, thought it'd be a nice present, for, a gift for. For you know his customers in the bank and all that, but in 80, 18, um, 84 he started doing cigars himself uh, in what is now known as the known as the Jose Marte factory in Havana. Um, but he, you know he done well, and so tonight what I'm going to do I'm going to review something I've went on for about for a long time, the Magnum Fifty Four. H. Upman Magnum 54. As by the title, you can, um, it's, a, it's a 54 gauge by four and three quarter inches. And it's, it's a mild smoke, um, but what I love about it is the flavors. Um, the flavors on it are absolutely exceptional. It's not the best trying to smoke it in a gale force wind here at the moment. It's a lovely cigar, and from the amount of smoke of these this year, they, they don't seem to change. It's one of the better um, that, cigars that have come out of Cuba for a long time. It went on the market in 2017, and it's, it's been doing steadily well. It did follow the 40, the 46, um, and the 50. Uh, Magnum 46 and 50, which bought them themselves, are fantastic smokes. So I reviewed the 50, um, and of course, it was a 48 limited edition at one time as well. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, John F. Kennedy's favorite brand was was the page up in the Petit Coronas in 1962 before he signed the embargo. Here's a bit of trivia for you. He sent out his uh, aide Pierre Steininger, Stasenberg, that's ah, some some mad name, and to buy 1,200 of of the uh, Petit uh, Coronas from H. Upman. But, um, whoa, what's after happening here? Don't bang it against the chair. <laughs> yeah, but it, going back to the flavours and all that. Damn it, back here. The, the wrapper is Cuban, the binder is Cuban, the filler is Cuban. It's a long filler. Everything about it is Cuban. Um, and my God, it tastes Cuban. It tastes lovely, actually, but I, I like all sorts of cigars. It doesn't matter Costa Rica, Nicaragua, Honduras, doesn't matter Brazil, Mexico. You know, if they, if they had cigars in Iceland, I'd probably like theirs. But uh, <coughs> excuse me, but it is it is a lovely cigar. Um, it's it's my favourite. Um, well, one of my favourites of the last couple of years, anyway. Um, it's it's it's, it's cedary white pepper, there's green pepper, little zing to it, and um, there's hazelnut, chocolate, um, dark espresso. There's like a, a floral, a floral, what you call it? Um, I thought it was honey at, at the start, but it's not, it's, it's, it's like a honeysuckle taste off it. Uh, a floral, Aromas off it as well, taste off it as well, notes. Um, I truly do enjoy it. Um, I think it's, it's a cigar, Any, anybody will get a chance to get, get one. Um, it's definitely worth it. It's, got, it's full of flavour. It's, it's mild. It's, well, it's medium more than anything else, to be honest. Um, 
but it's a lovely cigar. Um, and you get easily, if you smoke it properly, you can easily get an hour, you know, at a nice steady pace, you get an hour out of it, no problem. All right, so there you go, the Magnum 54. Um, Magnum 54 by H. Upman. Um, beautiful cigar, beautiful cigar. By the way, I forgot me cutter. I forgot me punch. I normally punch the cigars. I forgot me cutter. I forgot me punch. Oh my god. So I had to do a little bit of teeth work on, on it so it doesn't look the best, but it's a beautiful, beautiful cigar. All right. Um, let's say everything about it is Cuban. Lovely flavors, lovely taste. Um, yeah, the ash, lovely charcoaly. You can see it there, charcoaly ash on it. Um, this wrapper's a little bit dry. But I did drop this one earlier, unfortunately, um, at work, so I have no replacements. So, only bought the one with me, but um, for the review. Absolutely lovely cigar, so, in my humble opinion. So, have a great day. <laughs>